What do you guys stay on Windows 10 until 2032 with LTSE? That's what we're talking about today. Now, what is Windows 10 Enterprise IoT LTSE 2021? Windows 10 Enterprise IoT LTSE 2021 is a version of Windows operating system tailored for embedded and IoT devices with a 10-year support lifecycle. Unlike your standard Windows versions such as Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro, this edition is aimed at professional use embedded applications. It also includes features like long-term servicing channels, LTSC, short, and also offering a greater control over certain Windows functions and excludes non-essential components like Cortana, games, and other stuff, reducing the disk space and also utilization of the system. This is it right here, pretty clean install as you can see. Now, Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC is commonly used in kiosks, digital signage, factory automation, and smart manufacturing, and other mobile or in-vehicle edge computing. So this is what it's going to be used for, among other types of applications as well. So is it meant for home users? The short answer is no, it's not. It's not designed uh, for home users. It's designed for professional use embedded applications in devices with a fixed purpose. So it's not really intended for a standard Windows use for desktops and things like Windows 10 Home and Pro. That being said, it could be used, but it's not meant to be used. Now, to get your hands on this version, the availability really legally is only distributed through a Windows IoT distributor. And that means it's not going to be official if you're downloading this off the Internet. So what's the appeal for Windows 10 Enterprise IoT LTSC 2021? It's the longevity of support. You're going to be able to use this right up until 2032. That's correct. 2032 is until end of life for this particular version of Windows. Why is it so long compared to a standard version of Windows? Well, like I said, it's meant for uh, businesses. So the Windows 10 IoT version is supported until 2032, and the non-IoT version is supported up until 2027. That will be your standard LTSC version. So the difference between the IoT and the non-IoT Windows Enterprise LTSC 2021 versions is the licensing. So basically, the non-IoT version supports the KMS uh, license, but it doesn't support your digital uh, uh, licensing, whereas the IoT versions support a digital license and also supports the KMS uh, license as well. So there's a slight difference. So the difference is if you're having Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro, those versions of Windows are end of life on October 2025. That means it will not receive any more security updates or support or any feature updates or anything like that. It's completely dead. They are not going to be touching it anymore. Whereas these versions of Windows will continue to be used in businesses uh, further down the line, right up until 2032. And also for the LTSE version, the non-IoT version will be up until 2027. So also you may have worked out the reason why this is quite popular as well. It's quite debloated from the standard Windows version. They also have these versions on Windows 11 now. So if you are running this version, it's going to be completely debloated with all the bloat that Microsoft like to put in to the system. So feature updates is also not so important on LTSC versions. And you'll probably find that we'll be stuck on uh, 21H2 for the end of this life of this uh, actual operating system. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a second. So let's quickly talk about activation. I see a lot of people asking about where you can get it from and how can you activate it. If you have Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro key, it's not going to activate this version of Windows. This is for business use, which is designed for, you know, embedded applications in devices and things like that. So it's for a fixed purpose. So basically, this was never really designed for uh, home desktop computers. It was never released for home computers. 
So how do you go about activating it? Well, again, this is done illegally online. There's people that have created scripts that will go off and activate this by KMS activation or other methods. And basically, it's not legal and you are basically committing piracy. And I'm not going to share any links or anything like that about how to, uh, you know, get this activated because obviously that's not what this channel's about. We keep things on the up and up here. We don't want any piracy on this channel. So if you are looking to use Windows 10 Enterprise IoT LTSE 2021, the only way you're going to be doing that is by activating it illegally, which is what something we can we don't condone on this channel. Now, that's not to say that you don't work for a company or a big corporation uh, where you've got access to these. And then, of course, that would be different. But again, we're talking about home users here using this to extend the life on their old computer to be able to continue to use Windows 10 right up until 2032, which obviously a lot of people would love to do. But unfortunately, it's not going to be done through a legal way, in my personal opinion. So this version right here, Windows 10 Enterprise IoT LTSC 2021, this will have uh, the feature update of 21H2, and it will be on 21H2 till the end of life. It's not going to be updated anytime soon, and it will probably stay on 21H2. The problem with that is, is software. Later on down the line, uh, you may run into issues, for instance, with software like uh, graphics drivers, and also other particular type of software that also these companies have stopped supporting. So these versions of Windows, because they're such long term and they were never really designed for home use, you may well run into an issue with, say, graphics drivers down the line or even, say, for instance, uh, RGB software might not work anymore and, and things like that. But you should be OK uh, so far for 21H2, although 21H2 has already reached end of life. So as time goes on, remember, we're only uh, 2024 and this has got right up until 2032. So by then, a lot of software is not going to run on here because they will automatically tell you that it does, it's not compatible with this version of Windows. And that's because it was never intended to be used as a desktop computer, as a home computer. So it's built built for a kiosk type stuff, and that obviously doesn't need all that particular type of software installed on it. But that'll be a problem that you're going to face a little bit later on down the line as this uh, operating system grows with age, and that will be something that you'll have to face. And again, remember, as a desktop computer, uh, a lot of stuff like, like I said, graphics drivers, uh, you know, RGB software and all that sort of stuff like Armory Crate. Uh, I've had issues with 2019 versions of these where it just doesn't install anymore and it doesn't work. And I've had issues with uh, uh, NVIDIA drivers as well not working. So just bear that in mind if you are looking to go down this route with this particular operating system as a desktop computer. And if you type Winver in the search here, you will see that this version is 21H2 and I've done a full update on this system and this is where it will stay. It's not going to receive or be pushed with feature updates because it was never really designed for that. So let me go ahead and open this up here and you can see here 21H2 is on here. Now 22H2, it was the final version for Windows 10 and again that would be if they ever released it a different version, maybe Windows 10 Enterprise IoT LTSC 2024 or something like that. It's not going to be 2021. So let's quickly take a look at the end of life for the list of Windows 10 versions here and we can have a look. So we can see here on the servicing channel right here, the top one, that is 22H2. That's your standard Windows 10 Home and Windows 10 Pro. And end of life is 2025, uh, October uh, as you can see there, 14th of October 2025. Now down here is your enterprise and IoT enterprise versions right here. And you can see 2021, and that has a version of 21H2, and that's a long-term servicing channel. And that goes right up until 2032, uh, on the first of, uh, 13th of the 1st, 2032. And that will be enterprise only. And again, when you come down the versions right here, 2019, you can see long-term servicing channel. And that obviously had a different version uh, on there as well. That had 1809, and that may be problem 
problematic for a lot of people that are trying to run, say, Windows on their uh, with applications because of the version. It's so old now and it's obsolete. So right here as well, you can see I've just sort of narrowed it down to one version here so you can see it. This is the version that we're running on this system right here. And again, it's not going to be activated because you need to do it in a certain way, like I said, and we're not going to be doing that on this channel. Now, word of caution, if you are looking at doing anything like that, then be very careful because a lot of those sites do carry nasty malware on them. And when you're running that, it will install something in the background. You could end up being, you know, some sort of botnet or some sort of backdoor. We'll be very, very careful. There's a lot of shady sites out there offering this sort of stuff. And I would give that a wide berth and I'll just not bother using it. Uh, there's plenty of other options available. Linux, like I've said, for an older computer would work perfectly fine. You would receive updates and you would be able to run this on your system. No problem whatsoever. Again, if you're a gamer or something like that and you want to continue to use Windows 10 for the foreseeable future, then you're going to have to literally either upgrade to Windows 11 or you're going to have to extend your updates uh, for $30 for the year. Again, that's up to you. Anyway, with that said, I hope this sort of helps you out and understand what the differences are and what you can do and what you can't do. Again, there is people out there that are using this operating system and they've probably activated it the way we've talked about earlier on, and that's up to them. But again, uh, bear that in mind. All this information should help you understand what you can do and what you can't do uh, with Windows 10 IoT Enterprise uh, LTSE 2021. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it. I think we've covered just about everything on this topic. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.